The Enneagram today, uh, Neurobiology. And this is Dr. David Daniels, born 1984. As I mentioned, he passed away earlier this year. He was former professor of psychiatry and behavioral science at Stanford University. So now we see the Enneagram has moved from, you know, from the stars to the, the, the Desert Fathers to the modern day uh, philosophers, psychologists. And now it's been moved, in, uh, it's been, the work has <coughs> progressed even further. And Dr. David Daniels has been working with it for about 30 years. He's looked at the different centers of intelligence, um, the mind, the heart, and the body. And um, there are three centers of intelligence found in every human being. There's a three-centered brain, and the brain is, is a pattern recognition machine. So you think about it, all these motor neurons are firing in the brain. If there wasn't any patterns in your brain, how would you be able to remember how to get to work the next day? It would be a disaster. So the brain is always forming patterns, and these patterns have been um, recognized in neurobiology and neuroscience has, has, has understands how these, these patterns are being formed. So I'm you know, not expert on this, but again, this I'm just sharing with you what some of the key, key points to note from uh, neurobiology. So you, there's a three-centered brain, the head, the heart, and the body. And the head is the neocortex. A lot of work has been done in psych psychology and psychiatry the last hundred years, you know, whether it's Freud or Jung. It's from the front, the neocortex, how the mind functions. And there's a lot of emphasis on that, you know, what can I learn? Where, what, what can I how, make sense of it? The next is, is the heart center. It's, it's, it's linked to the emotional center. Um, it's sort of the limbic and mammalian brain, and a lot of um, all mammals have this. It's linked to the question, am I loved? And the body is the instinctual center down in the belly. Um, reptilian brain is called, it's linked to how you feel safe in the world. So the Enneagram today is about developing self-awareness. It's about the, developing the ability to stop, reflect, develop your inner observer. And when you do this, you actually gain awareness to all three centers of awareness, your mind, your heart, and your body. <coughs> so I'm going to talk about these three centers a little bit more. So the base three main emotions that we looked at are fear, distress, and anger, which are linked to the three centers. They happen in, in all mammals. And even though they have positive benefits to help us survive in the world, um, these negative emotions or adverse emotions have more power than positive emotions. It's measured that these emotions have up to 10 times more power than, than uh, positive emotions. So it's no wonder we're trying to avoid them. And so adaptive strategy and, and what you learn and develop into each of the nine types, it becomes actually a type structure. The structure is there to prevent you from experiencing these emotions that can cause you pain. So, it's, uh, you've probably seen a cat when it's very scared. Maybe you go up to a cat, you get a hissing and an arch back. The cat has fear kind of scared of you. So the way they puff itself up to make itself look bigger, less less of a less of a as a fear aggression um, response to external stimuli. The head center is, uh, is also known as um, helping to figure things out. They help you to know things. There's wisdom and knowledge and intelligence in the head center. So, so at the same time there's understanding. Um, and when if we feel afraid, when we feel unsafe, we're uncertain about the future, when we're just unsure about where, where to go next. At the same time, when a sense is a threat, being in, endangered, um, we kind of try and figure out what the next, the best path is. And the head center is also known for seeing. It's like the, the phrase, your mind's eye, so the, the mind is, is there for seeing. The next center is the heart center. So all mammals have this. You have, you have gorilla, close, feeling the love of his baby. The baby feels secure um, in the arms of a gorilla. The mammalian brain is linked, to, um, is linked to being connected and being bonded, loved, touched. And it's something when we lose connectedness, we've become distressed. And experiments have been done with mice. So you, you take a baby mice and you put it far away from 
its mother and, and the other group of mice. The mouse is going to start screaming and, and start crying very loud. There's a, there's a distress associated between separation from people, uh, for, for us and from, of all mammals being separated from their pack. So it's, distress is something you don't want to feel. It's a very strong negative emotion. It's also the heart center is linked to doing, um, taking action. The next um, strong emotion of the three centers is anger. It's linked to the body. It's how you get in the world. So these, these lions are fighting for space, for pride, for respect. Who's going to be the, the, the biggest, strongest lion? So, so lions are very interesting. Like the male lions, would, when they go and find a new pack, they would try and kill all the male cubs of a female, of other females, of, of yeah, of all the male cubs there, because it's not its offspring. There's no need to to share its genes to the to the to, and so on. So they would actually kill the small cubs. So there, there's a scarcity of um, male small lions in in the in in the world. So the, at the same time, for us, body is about how we occupy our space, and we we get angry when we don't get respected or treated as worthy. And when you're going to get what you need for survival, when you get your food or, secure, or hung, uh, when you're hungry, you get, you get angry. Um, the body center at the same time is linked for being. It's about being present and, and taking up space and how you show up in the world that way.